Let us take second example for basis flow path testing. So here this is a code given to us. Now first step is we need to create control flow graph for this. So how many uh, here we need to take the start as a first block as I said you in our previous lecture. Now what are the statements? So number one equal to six that becomes block two. This st second statement becomes block three. Condition becomes block four. This printf statement that is block five. Next, this one. If this condition, second condition, it becomes block six. This is block seven, block eight, and finally will reach end, which becomes block nine. Right? So if here these three statements will execute as it is. So two statements. And after that, we'll check the condition. If that condition is true, move to this else, uh, move to this uh, block five and print the value. After that, you need to reach end after executing that. Say if this condition is false, move to this uh, right part and check the second condition. Say if the number is not equal to zero, then you, we are checking if number one is greater than number two. So if that is the case, then you need to print number one is greater. Say if this condition is false, number two is greater. In either of the two cases, after executing the print statement, we'll move to end part. Right? So here, let us make all of them in same format. Here we are not checking the syntax of the, of the code. So our intention is just to create the flowchart for the given, uh, given part, right? Okay. Now step two is we need to calculate cyclometric complexity. So here, find out total number of adjacent nodes. Number of edges are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total ten edges. Nodes depends on number of blocks. Nine. So ten minus nine plus two, which gives you three. It indicates that we need to design three test cases, right? So find out independent paths here. Independent path. One path is one A, two B, three C, four D, five F. Two nine. So that is your first one. Second path. So here I am taking this sub uh, block as well as the this value also. As uh, we consider the flow graph in that way. Now second path is one a, two b, three c, four is a block, right? Four e. Move to s part. 6, G, 7, I, and then to 9. That is the second path. Now, what is the leftover path? This side, right? So, 1A, 2B, 3C, 4E, 6H, 8J to 9. Right. So, we got all the three paths. Then we need to find out, we need to design three test cases based on the value 3 here. So what, what are the three test cases? We'll take values for these numbers. So we'll evaluate all the three conditions. Then you need to execute the test cases and finally evaluate the coverage. Now 